This is our ethanol um, fuel cell. Yes, and so what you see right here, this blue part, that's where the ethanol reservoir, where we're going to put the solution. Here is uh, the tube where the ethanol will circulate into the fuel cell and it'll enter through the anode of the fuel cell. The byproducts like acetic acid will come out through here, through the, through the purging tube. So in our fuel cell we have an anode and a cathode that make up the actual fuel cell. It's kind of hard to see, but um, there's two anodes on this particular fuel cell. And there's two little things right here, one little thing right here and one little thing right here. These larger things on the side are um, cathodes. And the anode is the wet part of the fuel cell, and that's where all the ethanol is flowing through. It's all self-contained. Alright, so um, Kelsey explained the anode side of the fuel cell. Now, um, our fuel cell has two cathode sides. You see here are some vents on this side that's displayed. And also, if you look in the back, you can also see more vents on this side. So those are two cathodes. This is um, where uh, it lets in air for oxygen to join with the hydrogen um, that's broken up from the ethanol so it can join together and produce uh, water vapor as a byproduct. Alright, so right now we're going to show you how our fuel cell um, operates and show, demonstrate how it works and creates this motor to turn this fan. So first, of course, we have to prepare the solution of ethanol. We're going to do um, a 15% solution. So for the ethanol fuel cell to uh, work properly, it has to be 10 to 15%. So we're going to do 15%. So in order to achieve a 15% mix, we have 40% ethanol, we're using vodka, and um, we'll need 36 milliliters, that's what Maria is pouring right now. And to avoid any contamination that would hurt the membrane in the fuel cell, we're using distilled water. It's got a neutral pH. It's all nothing different about it, and we'll be using 24 milliliters of that. Alright, now we're so going to agitate. Because we want the ethanol to be, and the distilled water to be equally distributed. So we can make one nice solution. Now we're going to put it into the ethanol reservoir of our fuel cell. Alright, so um, now we're gonna, we're priming it, we're priming it, it's dripping, um, and so when you prime it, um, it just basically means that we're letting the ethanol solution run through the fuel cell, so we know through the that, anode. yeah, through the anode, which is, as we explained earlier, the wet side, so you know it's, you know, in there, and once it starts coming out the other end of the tube, you know it's all distributed throughout the fuel cell. So that's called priming, the first time you do it. So now that we have um, our ethanol in the anode, we're gonna, because it is, um, we have to run our motor, we have two alligator clips for negative and positive to start our circuit. So we're gonna connect it to the terminals. Here. There's positive. And there's negative. And it's already starting up. Yep, right away. So, as you can see, the ethanol directly converts the electrochemical energy stored in the um, in our fuel to electrical energy and thus kinetic energy as well. So now, as it's going for a little bit, so. One of um, the byproducts are carbon dioxide, um, acetic acid, and acetaldehyde, um, which are and water. yeah, and water. Um, so the first three are the ones that stay on the wet side of the anode. So those are gonna be coming out when we purge, and the water vapor comes out through the cathodes, which are where the air vents that I showed earlier. So um, we're gonna test the pH of the solution after it has run through the fuel cell. And right now I'm preparing some of the solutions so that we can do a test of the pH that we had before we started the engine. The motor. So, 
We have our 36 of ethanol mixture and so we can have 24 of water again. Compare and contrast. So this is what we had originally. It's an identical solution still. Okay. So this is ethanol. And it tests it as a six on the pH level. A little acidic. This, our ethanol fuel cell, has been running the fan for about 10 minutes now. So it's still going pretty strong. Now we're going to test um, to see the change, of, uh, the change in temperature uh, to see how the fuel cell will re react to it. This so, catalyst generally works, um, the platinum catalyst generally works best at a higher temperature than this. So we're going to just hold a blow dryer to it. Let's unhook it first. Good idea. Is there a warm button and a cold button? Yeah, it's on hot. Look, it's moving. faster than it was before and that just goes to show that once the catalyst is heated our platinum, platinum catalyst um, is more efficient at a higher temperature. Yeah, our catalyst is not just platinum because if the catalyst was just platinum it wouldn't really speed up the reaction. It had to be studied that they found it had to be mixed with uh, platinum and then uh, ruthidium and as well as a carbon type mesh. And the carbon mesh kind of soaked with the platinum ions. It's pretty cool. Alright, so right now we're going to test the acidity of the byproducts of our um, ethanol fuel cell. So the byproducts of our reaction are carbon dioxide, acetic acid, and acetic Acetaldehyde. Yeah. Acetaldehyde. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting all these AC things mixed up. So when we purge this, it should be a little bit acidic. And um, as you saw by our um, pH test before, it was just slightly acidic. So we're hoping that it will be a little more acidic. It hasn't been running. So yeah. So the long. solution was a 6 to start off with. Yeah. And so those three uh, byproducts, um, that Kelsey mentioned, those are all um, on the anode side, so those are all coming out of our wet side and into this purge solution. So now we're going to test it. And it's now 5. So, we want to compare. So this is the 6, which is what uh, we started off with. That's the ethanol solution. And then after purging, after letting it run, it's, you can see kind of the difference, it's gone uh, down the pH to the more acidic side. What do you dance with? <laughs> he has a big tack since he just wears suits. <laughs> Any day you want to start. Oh, okay. <laughs> Were you filming that? Pause. Yeah, it doesn't need pause. Pause. <laughs> pause, please. It, um, it just basically means that we're letting the ethanol solution run through the fuel cell. So we through know the that, anode? Yeah, through the anode, which is, as we explained earlier, the wet side. So you know it's you know in there, and once it starts coming out the other end of the tube, you know it's... And acetaldehyde. And acetylene? Acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde. And a cell to hide. A cell to hide. Yes. Yes. Sorry. <laughs>